Hello, this is Bern, and in today's video, I'm going to demystify the only two steps you need to focus on if you want him to love you more and express that love to you unfiltered. This works both if you want to go from dating someone to becoming exclusive, or if you're in a relationship where you feel his love is starting to fade. So stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or silly techniques, from the depth of your heart, from being the best version of yourself, well, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. I'm gonna talk about a framework that can help you elevate the, the experience of love that you have with someone. As I shared in my intro, whether it's someone that you're getting to know and you want him to just take the next step and really get a chance to experience at some point love towards you and express it in a powerful way, or you're in a relationship where you feel like we had this thing at some point and we're, we're losing it. Maybe you've never had it with them. It either needs to grow or you need to move on. I want to define in great broad strokes what I mean when I talk about more love. Because love is such a different thing for different human beings, but it includes certain elements that are common. One is intensity. I've never had a woman connect with me and talk, knock on my door and say, hey, I'd love, to, I'd love to experience more love of the kind that is lukewarm and makes me feel meh. That's never happened ever in the history of me connecting with thousands of women around the world. So what you want to experience has an element of intensity, has an element of inspiration, has an element of something that moves you beyond yourself, has an element that uplifts you. Another element is going to be connection. And there's three different types of connection that you can focus on and you can be precise with each one so you can experience more of what you're seeking. The first one is gonna be emotional connection, your capacity to express feelings, be met, be witnessed, and do the same thing with your partner. Second to that is gonna be physical connection. Now, some people put that before emotional connection, which get, gets them into a lot of trouble. Why? Because when you do that, you feel intensity, and there's a great uh, degree of maybe ex explosions and fireworks in your heart, but it's unsustainable many times, or it gets you hooked into the wrong person. Third element is gonna be spiritual connection. Depending upon your emotional, spiritual, philosophical beliefs, you may want more or less of that. But that's, in a nutshell, the types of connections that we want at a heightened level when we want to experience more love. And the last element of this whole thing is gonna be depth and meaning. We want to experience something that makes this life better for us and better for somebody else as a result of that relationship. And even better for the world, that's the best kind of relationship, right? Not only are you getting better with that man, but the world is better as a result of how you both show up for each other and for the world. Before I, express, I, I give you the two things that I promised in my video, if you want to know how you can attract a better guy, if you want to know how you can enter a relationship that's conscious, and you don't know where to start, or you're, you've been bumping your head against the wall, then first link in the description will give you a training of something that, that goes deeper than I can in this short video that will help you to start being pursued by quality men and enter a healthy relationship. All you have to do is go to the first link, uh, click uh, enter your name and email, and you start watching that free training right away. First thing you need to focus on if you want to experience more love of that kind is going to be raising the degree of your own self-love. And let me tell you that this sounds like an easy, hocus-pocus, new agey thing, but it's the foundation without which you will never experience the depth of love you want with someone. The degree to which you love yourself will determine the degree to which you can love a man and a man can love you. Let me actually put it to you as straight as I can. No man will ever love you, ever love you more than you can love yourself. And you might get someone who might try to rescue you and might for a while do the heavy lifting, but if you don't love yourself, he will find somebody else. He will never fulfill that void that you're not feeling for yourself. So how do we do this? Because I know that's something that sounds good and it's a trendy thing to talk about, but I'm gonna share with you three specific areas of focus if you want to experience more self-love that you can start practicing right away. The first thing I'll share is that if you want to experience more of those emotions and you want to have the mindset that allows you to create that type of love, you need the hardware that can sustain it. And sometimes we're focusing on our thoughts and we're trying to change our beliefs, but we don't have the right hardware, meaning the nervous system, and the brain chemistry that makes entering a healthy relationship possible. What are the rituals and what are the habits that you have in place for yourself that are pretty unshakable, that are consistent, that are an act of true commitment for yourself so that you can show up, not for him, for yourself as the best version of yourself. Because 
the best version of yourself will attract an incredibly more powerful and more loving man than the lower version of yourself. So think about movement and exercise. Think about eating habits. Think about drinking habits. Think about bad habits, including smoking, for example. What are some of the things that you can do for yourself in terms of silence and mindfulness? Can you take some time for yourself daily to just separate your thoughts from reality so that when push comes to shove and something happens where you're really met with a situation that you're scared about or maybe challenged by or maybe super excited about that you can recognize truth from fiction by having that habit? Are you curating content constantly that will be an offset to the horrible news that you're being fed from every type of news outlet, including social media, and uplift you and, and let you use the best parts of yourself instead of the worst parts of yourself and the most reactive parts of yourself? Are you taking cold showers that can really increase the, your immune response? What are the things that you're putting in place right now, sleeping habits, that will make you able to enter a relationship that's healthy? Second, you need to understand your needs but more than just understanding them, because we all have that thing of here are my needs and here's the, what I want in a guy and here's a long list of 55 attributes and I've heard by now from all these uh, videos in different, uh, from different experts that I can have everything and I'm here to tell you right now, sorry to burst your bubble, you cannot have everything. You can't, but you can have most of what you want, which is different than everything. So, but for you to get most of what you want, you need to prioritize things, because if you don't prioritize your list, you're gonna end up with nothing. So when you prioritize what you want, then you have sometimes in real life men who are showing up who maybe don't fit the type that you have for, for yourself. Maybe he's five inches or three inches shorter than your ideal, but he might be the best guy in your entire life. Or maybe he's someone who is making less money than you are, but he's responsible with his finances. And in your blueprint you have, he has to make more. So because of that, you don't give him time of day. So when you prioritize what's most important to you, and the best way to do this is figure out right now, when you figure out the list of things that are really important to you, come up with an exercise where you do, if I could only have one of these things, if I, this, and I understand that life is not binary like that, but if you could only have one, which one would you choose? Or pair two together, uh, physical prowess and then integrity. If you could only have one of the two, which one would you choose? And you say, well, I want both. I know you want both, but if you could only have one, which one? And then, not to say that you will have someone that's not physically attractive to you, but if you, want, if you have a guy that's more physically attractive to you and less integrity, or one that is still attractive but less attractive and has more integrity, do you choose that one? You need to know what's right for you and you need to prioritize it. Third way you can actualize the self-love is you can express, you need to learn to express your needs, now that you not understand what they are, as an invitation rather than as a demand. And here's the quintessential mindset that needs to take place for you to express your needs as an invitation versus a demand. You need to know that you, you can walk away if something ends up not working for you. Not that that's the first thing you go to, especially if you have a committed or a marriage, for example, that's long term. But at some point, if what you need to experience, you can't experience because the other person is unwilling or unable to give it to you, then you might need to walk away. And, and if, you, if you have that in the back of your mind, not that that's your first go-to, but that's something that's available for you because you're not into lack. You're not into this world that says, well, there's only one soulmate and then I'm screwed if that person doesn't want me back. Then you're able to experience more love than you could ever imagine because you can express things in a way that's less needy and from a place of groundedness where if that person really can't give you what you want, you can move on and experience it with somebody else at some point. The second move that allows you to experience the love that you want is to go all in on expressing your love to him, your connection to him, your admiration of him in the language that he needs, in his love language versus yours. And I'm not just talking about acts of service and uh, physical touch and gifts and time spent to, I mean, I'm talking beyond that. I'm talking about you figuring out his dreams, you figuring out his fears, you figuring out what he's really about, you figuring out his vision for life, you figuring out what makes him excited, what makes him sad, what makes him angry, you figuring out his philosophy for life, his love map. When you figure out his love map, then you have the keys to the kingdom. When you don't take the time to experience and understand his love map, then you're really shooting, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping that it hits. I've seen so many women who have, in, in very painful situations, shared with me 
that he was cheating on me for seven years, for example. Uh, and my, my first response is to say, I'm so sorry for what you experienced. And there's really no excuse for somebody to do that. And at the same time, you were not present enough. How can you experience something for seven years and not realize it? You have to be somewhat asleep at the wheel. And it's not a criticism, but it's the truth for you not to recognize that the person that you're sleeping with and living with is having sex with somebody else. I mean, you need to be present, which I'm going to share with you right now. How do you actualize this? How do you actualize understanding this? You need presence and curiosity. Curious to get to know him, curious to, to see what moves him, and present enough to recognize body language. Most people who are not psychopaths can be easily read if you pay attention, if you're not focusing on yourself only, if you're not looking at your phone, if you're taking the time to spend quality time with that human being, you can figure out is it really hitting or not? Are they really feeling what they say they're feeling? Are they really connected to you? Are they really excited to, to, to grow with you? Is something upsetting them? So the quality of the questions you ask and the, the, your ability to be present will enable you to discover his love language beyond the five love languages and give it to him instead of give him what you need for yourself. Second is going to be generosity and expression. When you're generous in your expression, when you say, okay, now I understand what he needs, I'm gonna be as generous as I can in expressing what he needs. I'm gonna plant those seeds so that a forest can grow and I can get the fruits that I want back, right? You're not doing it as a trait, and at the same time, if you're doing it right, you'll get something back. Now, if the guy, you're being generous in expression, you're, you're being, giving him love in his love language, you're expressing your needs, doesn't love you back, that's a different story, we'll talk about that in a second, but you might be surprised at how much you can move the needle with someone by doing what I'm sharing with you right now. And the, the last aspect of this going, this move to, which is going all in on giving him love the way he needs to versus the way you need to receive it, is courage in asking for feedback. Why? Because figure out what's going on with him. Figure out if he's enjoying it. Figure out if there's something you can do that meets more of his needs. And figure out if there's anything that you're doing that is maybe taking away. You're, you're, you're giving him five points, let's say, every time you, you do something he loves and maybe removing 10 by criticizing him in a way that's putting his soul down. So you need to understand both. Uh, what, what, in the generosity of action that you're sharing with them, how is it landing, but also are there things you're doing and you have to ask questions and you have to be present that are taking away all the points that you're landing by virtue of something that really is crushing his soul, crushing his heart, making him feel incredibly anxious about you or your connection. Uh, hope this is helpful and useful and insightful. If it is and you want to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner uh, and you want to do that in, in a way that's fulfilling and fun and conscious, then first link in the description will allow you to take my free training. If you enjoyed the video, click like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, if you're listening to me right now, you've been watching my videos and other people's videos, you've been doing a bunch of things. You've been going to therapy, you've been reading books, you've been reading blogs, you've been consulting with your friends, and you're still single. You're smart enough to recognize that if you could have done this on your own, you could have done this already, then you might be a great candidate to work with me where I can help you experience the relationship you want in a fraction of the time. If that's you, second link in the description will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.